What's up guys? So today's video is going to be a guide on Ridley. I think this character is really fun and pretty decent. So hopefully this will be the first of many guides. With that said, Ridley is in my opinion a neutral and advantage state monster. He has long range on his attacks, good frame data, amazing grounded movement speed, multiple jumps for edge guarding, big hitboxes, power, good combo game, good damage game. And uh, yeah, overall he's just very difficult to deal with in neutral. He can be very oppressive at times when he gets going. His weaknesses are his disadvantage state is awful due to his size and airspeed. He, uh, he has trouble with big hitboxes in general and projectiles just due to his size. So I know it's a meme, but honestly he is a bit too big sometimes. With that said, let's get into his neutral. His neutral revolves mainly around his down tilt, his neutral air, some fireballs, and his side B and his dashing. Since I mentioned before, his dashing is very fast, you're going to want to use dashing just to mix people up. And then you're going to, want to do things like dash in the down tilt, which gives you pretty easy combos. You can chase farther, like down tilt fair, and then try to land and catch someone if they jump, or dash again if they try to land the ground. So, like down tilt fair, you land on the ground, dash down tilt, convert into some other stuff. Note that down tilt and all his tail attacks have a tipper on them. So you can see right here, tipper is 10.8 damage, much harder to combo off of, probably can't combo off tipper. If they DI properly, whereas non tippers around here, you know, 7.2 damage, much easier combo off of his neutral air. And it might just be a spacing thing as opposed to a knockback thing for even combo off tipper. So just keep that in mind. His neutral air is really good at just look at this range. This is this is insane range. It all counts to have a short hop, and this is all disjointed, which I'll show you in a second. So, notice our SD, and I come back and I'm green. That's my her boxes, and that's all. I'm Principal hurt boxes. Now look at the neutral air. You notice that there's no green on this hurt box. This is all just disjoint. Same with his down tilt. In fact, the latter half of all of his tail attacks have disjoints. You see with down tilt, the latter half is not green at all. It means it's just no hurt box there. The early half though has a hurt box. You can counter poke it. Same with forward tilt. Uh, yeah. So that's really cool. And with neutral air, since there's so much range, it's so fast, and it gives you combos like neutral air. Down tilt. Or even if it's not combo always, you, it's still aggression. It's still down tilt, someone lands on the ground. They have to deal with the mix above, like down tilt or grab or side B or more neutral airs. Well, falling down tilt will give you combos up. Pretty nice percents. Ah, doesn't work this percent. We can go that. And you can just mix people up. You can use cross up neutral air as well. Which can be really good to mess with people. Um, and yeah, overall it's a nice move. I mentioned the dashing before. Just keep in mind, you should try to be dashing back and forth a lot. This character makes people up. Fireballs is really good when someone's being a little bit passive. Because you can just go shoot fireball. And then run at them. While the fireball is like, putting pressure on them to press an attack. Or to run away. Or shield. So, And there's a lot of time to react for Ridley when he's setting up the fireballs. So that's really nice. And the final side is good when people are just... Condition the shield because you keep running up and narrowing them and down tilting them and basically oppressing them Now other things are worth mentioning his grab game isn't that great. His range is pretty low He does have combos off grab though. He does have down throw forward air He sometimes even has down throw back air but yeah, Mainly down throw forward is your bread and butter and then you follow up the forward air by chasing people down So like down throw forward air chase down landing with down tilt Maybe try catch him with an air or a fair or an up air but I don't go for too many grabs unless I know they're going to shield. His forward air and back air have good range. They're more range than neutral air. But they have landing leg. And they can't auto cancel a short hop. So like that. Can't auto cancel that. Good amount of landing leg. Back air. Same thing. His up air has no landing leg though. So if someone's above you, you can just go up airing people. Down air has a lot of landing leg. But that move has some uses I'll talk about a little bit later. His forward is also a decent neutral option. It's a little bit slower than down tilt, I think. It has basically the same range. However, it has kill power on the tipper. And more damage. It's a great combo ender. But also, it's pretty safe on block. Where as long as someone's not point blank in front of Ridley, he can forward tilt that block. They try to show grab, but it just misses. Because that's so much show push. Like, you're not going to go grab that. Even up close, it's uh, not easy to get punished on this. Yeah, it's hard to do solo. Yeah, see, that's too close, but I give myself a little bit more room, like, here. And, oh my. 
No way you can grab that. So just keep that in mind, especially at kill percents, you can definitely spam the forward tilt. And you can angle it up to make it a pretty solid anti-air. And you can angle it down to catch people holding the ledge too long. Note when you angle it up and down, it slightly decreases his horizontal range. Oh, or the moves. Up tilt's an amazing anti-air. It doesn't really hit that well in front or behind Ridley, but when someone's above him, it does what it's supposed to do. You can even combo off of this at certain percents. Once again, since Ridley's hitboxes are so big and fast, even if he doesn't get combos off his hits, he generally just wants to aggress people and vortex them. So that's fine. His up smash is also an amazing anti-air. Coming out frame 11 behind him, having a big hitbox, you'll notice that the tail, no, the tail, the, the leg is invincible. It's like right here. Just look at the blue line on the leg. Let me try it a little bit closer. So that blue line of the leg indicates a hurt box that's invulnerable or it's intangible, whatever it is. The point is, you can challenge other moves with it very easily. It doesn't really hit in the ground well, so don't try to use it if someone's just in your face in the ground. But I love going people and going reverse up smash and neutral to catch up trying to space something in the air. Just because the hitbox is so long. I treat it like a Mario up smash in that way. And the front hitbox is also pretty nice, it just comes out a lot slower. His forward smash is an interesting tool. I mainly use it as a whiff punish tool. Because he leans back. So you can go like someone's pressing a jab or grab. You just go lean back, punish them. Very powerful move. Comes out pretty fast for his power. But there's a lot of end lag. If you whiff this move or even if it's blocked, you are getting punished by a good player. So keep that in mind. You can do fun setups though. Like, like down tilt, nair, and run up to them. They get their hitbox out, you whip punch hitbox with forward smash. And it kills them extremely early. Down smash is an interesting move. It comes out very slowly. But because of its lack of speed, sometimes people will drop shoot early trying to parry it or just punishing it or thinking they can attack you. And then you'll get hit by it because of high profiles and has a lot of range. Like this this is absurd range. And it kills pretty early. And like I said, since the high profiles, you can avoid most grounded options with this move. It's especially good when someone's trying to run at you with dash attack, dash grab mix ups, and you just go, nope. And at the ledge, due to its range, you can cover almost every ledge option of timed right. It catches people holding ledge, I believe. It catches them doing get up, attack, regular get up, jump, and roll, all at the same time. So that's crazy. And. I think I mentioned side B, but talking about it a little bit more, this move's interesting. If you hold up, you can toss him with it, which is really good because you can launch him in the air and then chase him off stage. Uh, if you don't choose to toss him up, basically along the higher the difference is between your percent and the opponents, the longer they're staying the side B. It's like a zero percent. If someone's mashing, they can get out of that right away. You even try going for the toss. But if someone's at a hundred percent, they are stuck in this a lot longer, assuming you're at zero percent. So you can basically carry him to the other side of the screen and kill him. But if you're at 100% and they're 100%, they can still mash out basically instantly. Uh, the closer you are to the ledge, the less damage it's got to do because the quicker he tosses. But the more knockback it does. So the longer he drags you, the less knockback it does. And generally you want to kill people, you want to do this near a ledge to get the immediate toss up and early kills. It's also pretty good in general if you just go off stage with it because there's very little end leg. As you see there, I can do run off, just side you off stage in air and still recover. Whereas in the ground, if you miss it, lots of end lag. That's like easy run up forward smash punishes. So you have to be pretty, you gotta be pretty ballsy with this move if you want to go for it. Down B is basically a me move, but it is good if you catch them on a platform. You can like try to show it. You could do something like down tilt them, know they can land a platform, and go for the down B and get that 60 damage. Speaking of actually platforms, up smash covers the entire platform. Just saying, along with neutral air, uh, back air covers get him out of it. Same with forward air. I'm um, going back to forward air, back air for a second, actually. This is all disjoint, by the way. Whereas back air, since he's using his leg, is not disjoint. You can easily counter poke him going for back airs. But back air is a great kill option. Uh, high knockback, good damage. Comes out decently fast. Um, and has a bigger hitbox than you'd expect. Forward air, however, is great for comboing due to its damage and the fact that it's trajectory lets you kind of chase with more forward airs. You can go like, oh, that's up. I have to like down tilt, full hop forward air, and then just chase people if they DI in or try to aggress me at all. And you can also drag down forward air into 
Small combos. Mm. Now for his ledge game, this character's ledge game is insane. Once he puts it to the ledge, he can just mix it up all day with neutral air and dashing. Just that, if time and space right, would cover basically everything except roll. Just, yep, catch him. Can kill off Sage very well. Combine that with mixing up a dashing back just to bait out rolls and to go for down tilts. Because if people aren't dealing this way, you can easily get down tilt back here at like mid percents to just kill them. So yeah, mix up the down tilts, the nares, the forward tilts, the back airs to catch jumps, the forward smashes for hard reads, the down smashes as I mentioned before to cover everything. Fireball is also a really good set from the ledge because if you space it right, you can catch them on the ledge, but you can also catch them doing regular get up and jump and get up attack and roll at the same time. So basically you get guaranteed damage when you space this fireball right and can start chasing them down after hitting them for potential kills or even more damage. Or you can even just literally set up the fireball again if you think they're going to be too passive on the ledge after re-grabbing it. So that's overall an amazing option. In general, fireball is really good for advantage stage stuff because if someone's landing, you can't chase them with your like dashes. Just show fireball, catch that landing, and then chase them. Uh, for edge guarding, is also pretty nice because you can just throw us off stage and it catches a lot of recoveries. For example, if you're like uh, fighting against Bayo, you can basically fireball and just lock her down with this. It's really annoying. Uh, Robin, just I have to expand with the cast. But yeah, big hitboxes that go at this angle are perfect for edge guarding. Push cool back. Oh, sword bend as well. Since the recoveries tend to be a bit linear, if you can catch them jumping, they're just dead. And that's, that's just part of his edge guarding game. His edge guarding kit is actually amazing. His multiple jumps let him just run off Nair, chase people with multiple Nairs, and recover unless he messed up like I did. See, there you go. And his recovery has a pretty big, uh, paper big grab box. And he drifts pretty far during it. So, like, if I go here, I should make it back. Yep, made it back. I can probably even go further out. There are only four angles on his up B. It's kind of weird. He can go directly upwards. He can go right or behind him, which sends him up and behind. Forward sends him down and forward. And then down just sends him slightly down, uh, slightly forward and down. This move can also be used as an interesting setup to spike people. Where you knock someone off stage and you go, you grab ledge by, by holding down to angle down and then letting go of it so you can grab ledge. You'll spike people. And he's basically unchallengeable. These hitboxes on his up B are massive. Absolutely ridiculous big hitboxes on his up B. So, yeah, I don't know why people say his recovery is bad, to be honest. When you factor in, it's hard to challenge it. And it goes really far. And also, you can bounce off the state, the wall. It's a little bit hard to do. So, there, I can bounce off. If I'm really tricky, I can even do, like... See, there, I didn't hold ledge there, so I got the hitbox out and then grab ledge. And that's another thing, yeah, you can easily just grab ledge so you can go off stage with like narrows like this. And at this height, just boom, grab ledge. And finally for recovery, side B. And side B is really cool because it has so much range and it's fast. Right here. Grab ledge. Look at that. That's that's an insane amount of range. You really don't get that, so multiple jumps and an up B left. You can do it high up for early mix-ups. If someone's camping a ledge with shield, you can easily just grab them with side B. And one thing I know about the side B is if you go for the suicide side B, like a Gandorf one, Ridley dies, but the opponent kind of bounces in the blast zone and can recover. Because you notice how Inkling, it's hard to show here, but try it on like FD and just have your friend literally just jump in and you notice, wow, the opponent gets to recover really easy while Ridley's dead. Now, the, if you mesh out of side B, you might just fall out and then you will die where Ridley can just jump and live. But still, it's really good for stage spiking at mid percents. It just catches people off guard. Um, something I like doing a lot as well is catch people in the air with side B. So I do like down tilt, fair, fair. Ah, oh, it's hard to do in this stage. So like down tilt, fair, side B. And if you catch them in the air, you can basically just toss them away and get a free kill. It's like that. And like if they were on a regular stage, they were probably dead at that point, to be honest. And the hitbox, the grab box in the side B is pretty decent, honestly. You'd be surprised at what it catches. And of course, if you land a stage with it, 
It goes into the regular like toss animation. So yeah. Uh, what else is worth mentioning with this character? We talk about how good Dash Tech is. Powerful. Um, comes out a little bit slow, but has almost no end lag. Good range. Just a great kill option. A great tool to combo off of. Although generally you want to do like dash up tilt, dash down tilt, or a dash aerial to get combos and continue them. I believe that is it for talking about Ridley. I mentioned how just good his air to air game is with forward air and back air. Very low end lag on them. Up air. Oh, I forgot to talk about up air. Up air is just an amazing tool. The hitbox on it is nice. It kills. It can even combo 7% off falling up air. But it's really just a fast, powerful hitbox that complements this anti-air game so well. And his down air is interesting. This move can spike if spaced right. But honestly, the spacing for it's hard. But even if you don't get the spike, it has a lot of power. So it has a big hitbox too. So I do catch people off guard trying to chase me too aggressively with the down air. Or just go, ah, you were in that zone, you get hit. Big damage, that's cool. And then off stage, you can actually do full hop, down air, try to go for a spike, and then still recover barely. Or if you get the side B, and you toss him with the side B, you go like, oh, I stink. I know that's happening. Do that. Jump down B, and still recover. I don't think you have to jump for this. I mean, down air. Yep, and see, so it's really nice. And overall, Ridley's mainly a struggle with characters who always have really big hitboxes or really good projectiles. I find characters like Robin really annoying, Zelda, um, Marcina, all those just characters that basically abuse his size. But I find them really good versus the characters who don't have much range in their hitboxes. So the characters like Mario or Kirby, who just can't recontest with his aggression or characters with extremely bad disadvantage states. He can just abuse extremely hard, like actually Krom. I feel like he's not that bad versus Krom or Roy because he hits them off stage and then he just doesn't let them recover and he oppresses them so hard due to having range to contest them and frame data to contest them. So yeah, in summary, spacing based character who's meant to mix people up in neutral with command grab, tilts, aerials, and an advantage state due to his very powerful attacks, range, and just everything. Pure, pure movement speed, aggro spacing, vortex based character with some fireball setups and cool edge guarding and ledge trapping. Just don't let him get put in disadvantage. With this side guys, hope you like this guide. Let me know if you want me to do more. If you want me to do more, give me ideas for characters to talk about. And with that said, peace out.